With the new Microsoft Teams meeting experience, there are two methods you can set up student lobbies for online lesson meetings. The waiting lobby will prevent students starting online lesson meetings early and without the teacher present. First, let's see how you can set this up before the online lesson. Once you have scheduled a Microsoft Teams online lesson meeting, go to the calendar and open the meeting. From here, you want to click on Meeting Options. From this window, you will see the first option, which is who can bypass the meeting lobby. Click on the drop down menu to see the options available to you. To ensure no students can enter the meeting early, select Only Me. While we are here, you should also set the Who Can Present setting to Only Me. This will prevent students from taking over the controls when you are presenting in the meeting and stop them from muting each other. Once done, click on save and close the web browser and your meeting will now be set up with a student lobby. If you are not able to schedule a meeting in advance, it is possible to change the meeting options while the online meeting is in progress. When in the meeting, click on the participants icon on the meeting control panel at the top of the meeting window. This will display all the students in the meeting so far, but to send anyone else joining the meeting into the student lobby, click on the meeting options icon and this will open the web browser with the meeting options again. You can now set yourself as the only person who can bypass the meeting lobby and who can present. Click on save when you are done and return to the Microsoft Teams meeting window. When a student attempts to join the meeting, they are sent into a waiting lobby where they are unable to enter the meeting until you let them in. There will be a message on the student screen stating that the teacher has been notified that they are waiting. Whilst waiting, the students are unable to use the meeting chat or see their peers. From the teacher's point of view, you will see a message pop up on the meeting window and there is a notification next to the participants icon on the meeting control panel. Click on view lobby to see all the students in the waiting lobby. This will display the participants panel and you will notice there is a section with the waiting lobby and a tick and cross next to each student waiting. At this point, the teacher can check to see if the correct person is attempting to join the online lesson. If you notice a student who should not be attending, you can click on the cross icon and the student will be kicked out and denied entry into the meeting. To let the other students in, you will need to click on each tick next to their name. Unfortunately, there is no button to allow all the students in one go to enter into the meeting, and so you will need to click on each tick separately. However, Microsoft is looking at adding this feature in a future update. Click on the next video option to see how to enable the new Microsoft Teams meeting experience or click on the recommended option to enhance your teaching and learning further.